Hey guys, it's Annie, Creative Cliche. In today's video, I'm gonna be giving you guys kind of like a luff, luff update, a life update, kind of what's going on with me, and a few like random things here and there. I feel like like every video because I'm just kind of unorganized. I feel like I went off on a few tangents, so it was anywhere from getting blocked on Instagram to careers that I almost chose before I discovered Instagram. So it's kind of, kind of touching on everything in this video. <laughs> so yeah, if you guys wanna get ready with me, then keep watching. Ugh, I had the longest day of life yesterday, I swear. So, okay, so two nights ago, I was responding to comments and Instagram blocked me. Like, you know when you respond to comments too fast, it's like, whoa, like slow down. Because essentially it thinks that you're a bot and that you're going around spamming pages. So, I mean, it's a good thing that it stops you from doing that but I just wish that it would take following into consideration, you know? And like, I'm not a huge page or anything like that, but I have over 140,000, you know? Like I need to get back to people at a more rapid pace than the average person. And I, it just annoys me so much that they do that. Like I constantly get blocked. And the thing is, it's normally not that big of an issue because it's just, typically like 15 minutes. So I'm like, okay, whatever. And then I'm an idiot again, and then like start doing it right when they unblock me. So then I wind up getting blocked right back to back and that's annoying. But this was like the longest block that I've had. Okay, so I got blocked that night, like multiple times. And then it was like flagging me, I guess even further because I just wasn't learning my lesson. And then I was blocked the entire next day too. And then it turned out around like five o'clock, like, one of my posts actually went through for my stories where I was saying that there was an issue and I wasn't able to post. And everyone was like, yeah, we're having the same problem. Like Instagram's having an issue. So I was like, oh, so it's not me, but it was because I did get blocked the day before. So I don't know if it was what was happening to everyone else or if I was just constantly still blocked from the night before, I don't know. But not being able to, I couldn't comment on anything, I couldn't post any stories, and I couldn't post any photos or anything. I missed my 100 days of makeup post. It was just like a nightmare. And like it just made me realize how much I really rely on Instagram. Like I literally just open it without even thinking about it. Like I'll open the app just to like check out what's going on. And to not have that, like I was just going crazy. But also I just don't like not being able to respond to you guys. And it makes me, like it made me feel like, well, how do I get in touch with, with everyone? Like they probably think they're um, that I'm ignoring you guys. And I just, I hate that feeling. And on YouTube, I try to be as active as I am on Instagram with the comments, but it's just not, it's not as like common sense to me as it is for Instagram, which I need to get better about that. Like I'm really trying guys. It's just, it's really hard being on two platforms and give it your all on both. I really commend people who can do that. I keep forgetting to do my face contour. It's like ridiculous. I think I'm putting too much focus on my eyebrows now because I'm starting to like, I'm just trying to like reinvent them, you know? <laughs> but yeah, so I didn't know that it was just a problem with Instagram, like all of yesterday until later on that night. So I went through the entire day thinking that I was just like blocked for good. I was watching so many YouTube videos on people saying that They've been blocked for months and they like, can't get their account back. And I was starting to like really spiral. Like, I swear, I probably took about like 10 years off of my life with how hard I was stressing on that. Which it sounds ridiculous, but this is a career for me, you know? So if my page just gets frozen, like what do I do? Like what if I lost all of my following tomorrow, you know? Like everything that I've been working so hard to build. Like when you look at it in those terms, it makes more sense than just focusing on the numbers because it's not about the numbers. I don't know, like what would happen if everything's gone? Like, ugh. I mean, obviously you can start up a new page, but then what would the name be? And would it still be creative cliche and just put like a one after it? Or I'm sure that's taken. And then also what would I do? Like, would I comment to everyone on my actual page, like on the frozen page and say, hey, like this is my new account over here. Like follow me over here. Like, how would people find me? I guess I could like, shout it out on YouTube and let you guys know what's going on, but not everyone follows me on YouTube. I don't know. It was I was just spiraling and going through all of these like possible solutions. And it was just, oof, it was, it was really stressful. 
and I also just really love talking to you guys. Like, you have no idea. It's just, you know, I don't respond back just to make sure that posts are doing well and that engagement's doing well. Like, I really love talking to you guys. You really are like friends to me. And it felt so weird not being able to respond or like anything at all. Like I would see messages come in, but then I couldn't respond to them. Then I would see comments coming in. Like I could see everything coming in, but I couldn't do anything. And it was just like, oh, I'm trying to think of other things to update you guys on. Cause I feel like it would just be annoying to just complain about my Instagram thing all day long. And plus it's already fixed, so it doesn't really matter. But I think I already told you guys this, but I'm going to Mexico in May. I really want to get in shape before I go. I just want to get toned. I want to like look really good. I don't, I've never been, well, I can't say I've never been out of the country because we did go to Bermuda like the end of last summer. And that was like my first like, is it visa? Is that what it's called? That you get when you can go out of the country? I think it's visa. Passport? Passport. Yes, visa. Oh my God. Um, yeah, passport. Um, but yeah, I'm so excited and this feels more like actually going out of the country because when we went to Bermuda We did a cruise. I don't know. Not that it doesn't feel like like it really happened But like I don't know I guess because you're on the ship like it doesn't really feel like you're in like another country But I'm so excited to fully like get that experience, you know, like on land like you're actually flying there and like landing in Mexico like that's so cool and I just like have a vision like a really like I don't know, I just want to look like super fit in my bikini, you know, like I want to, I don't want to get like a haircut until then because I want to have my hair long, you know, I want to look like oiled and glowy and everything, you know, and I'm just like ugh, thinking of all the hard work to actually get there sucks. Like I've been trying to eat better and not like snack as much and that's just like, ugh, it's so hard, especially when you're just eating because you're just bored, you know. I feel like that's one of my biggest issues, but I just want to get better at working out. Like, I feel like I just can't bring myself to do it. It's so annoying. But then I, you know that once you actually do, it's going to feel good and you're going to be in the mode once you start. But I don't know. It's just not good enough for me to explain that to myself. And I have a really good yoga tape that I watch. I always have this one tape that I watch because it's literally the best. Like. It gets you in shape so quick, it's not even funny. Like, I feel like I bounce back so quickly. I just need to be consistent for like a week and I like am good, but it's hard to get to that point. I think what I'm gonna do is I'll probably do like a self tanner because I feel like that always makes you feel a lot better. It makes you feel more fit and toned like in the process and it makes you see the results a lot faster. Like you look, you already look thinner when you're tanner and like your skin just looks tighter. I feel like I'm just like a better person when I'm tanner. I feel like I have more inspiration. I feel like I'm happier. I mean, I guess when you look good, you feel good, but I don't know, maybe that's what I'll do. I'll have to do that. The only thing that I hate about self tanners is that you smell like self tanner the entire time. Like your skin just has like this tanner stench. And even when you wash it off, it's like, it's just in your sheets. It's like in your clothes. It's just, I hate that. But kind of going back to the Instagram thing a little bit, it's funny because I, it made me think of all the things that I used to want to do. And I have so many different things and they're literally like on different sides of the map. Like I really wanted to be a chef at one point. Like I was looking into culinary schools and it was just something I was really passionate about. Even though like I didn't really cook that often or anything, but I like had this vision that I could be like a top chef. I think it's just mainly because I like eating a lot. And then I wanted to interview musicians, almost like E! News, not really E! News, um, but that actually is another one. But um, kind of like where you just get to interview bands. What else did I want to do? I wanted to be a baker. I really wanted to bake cupcakes for a living, have my own little shop. Um, I wanted to have a skate shop for the longest time. That was actually probably my longest goal. I was really into skateboarding in high school. I had my whole shop picked out and everything. Like I really, it was a real passion of mine. I want to say that once you start doing other things or like have to have a job and things, you kind of let go of some of the dreams that you had. But I guess if that continued to be a passion of mine, like I stopped skateboarding. So I guess it kind of fell along with that, which I just kind of like lost my passion for it. And I think that that's just what happens in life. Like you find something else that you like more and you just kind of run with that. Guys, every time I think I have my brows like down, I go back and change them like a million times and then they turn into this. 
Like, this is like so thick, it's ridiculous. Like it's, I'm so annoyed with myself. Like you hear about girls doing this with eyeliner and then the next thing they know they have this huge wing. I do that with my eyebrows. It's literally like I can't stop. Like I go back and just tweak different things and then they're just like, I look like the dad from the OC, you know? All right, I'm just gonna do my eyeliner real quick because you guys know I can't talk through that and I'll be back. All right, I'm doing my mascara. But yeah, I had so many aspirations as a kid. A lot of those I still wanna do, honestly. I've always wanted to be like a host of like the E! Network or something like that. I feel like I would do really well on like a talk show. My one eyelid like droops sometimes, it's so annoying. Sometimes I just go in with some eyeliner and just make it look a little thicker so that it evens out the eyelids. But the thing that's weird is that it doesn't happen all the time. And I've been trying to pay attention to the signs, like, am I stressed? Is it because I feel a migraine coming on? Like different things that could possibly be triggering that. And sometimes it switches eyes, sometimes it's this eye, but primarily it's my left eye that, my left eyelid that droops a little bit. And it's weird because it's not just looks, like I can actually feel it. And it feels like my face is kind of crooked, if that makes sense. I think I thinned my brows out a little bit more so they're not like as like thick looking. What do you guys think of them? Do I keep like overdoing it or do they look okay? But to sum up that subject that, that I was talking about on past career like choices, like things that I wanted to do, I think what was so upsetting to me is that I have now found what I actually really want to do. And my fear came from feeling like that was being pulled away from me. And that was just really scary because I've never felt more in my life like I'm meant to do something than I am now. I feel like I am fully fulfilled and it like, I'm not gonna cry, I'm just, I'm just wiping my eye. But that's what made it so scary for me. Like it's not like, I know I kind of explained that already, but, but I want you guys to like fully like understand. Not that I'm just like being a little bitch about it, you know? Like, mm, my Instagram. All right guys, I am just gonna straighten my hair real quick and I'll be back. So this is the finished look, guys. My eyelash keeps sticking on to this other part. I have like some tacky glue still like stuck on the top and it keeps like connecting to the bottom and it's like, but I think I have my eyebrows under control. I think they look decent. Not that great, but tolerable. And on my lips, I have um, Too Faced Child Star. So yes, why did I do that? I don't know. But this is one of my favorite colors by them. It's just amazing. And it stays on pretty well. Like even through eating, I found it like fades well. It doesn't get like that weird like look to it. I don't know, but yeah. I hope that you guys like this video. Like I said, I know I'm all over the place in these chit chat, get ready with me. Get ready with, with me. I don't know. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what videos you guys would like to see next. And I'll see you in the next one. I love you guys.